Now we have a slight change in the agenda. Instead of uh, Ms. Yaldigin's presentation, we'll have uh, uh, Milana Yelerdova uh, from the same company. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Legardova. Uh, I represent Sovzond here for our foreign guests who are not aware of our company. I will make a brief introduction. Sovzond company has been for 20 years on the Russian market of remote sensing. Here on this slide, you can see the main directions of our company's activities. We started from the supply of remote sensing data recently, although we've always trying, been trying to promote this direction, but now it's more like a historical fact for us. Now we concentrate more and more on the project activities, the activities related to the supply of integrated solutions in the field of geo uh, geomatics and uh, remote sensing. And that is why in my presentation I would like to tell you about some projects which became important for our project, for our company this year. Traditionally, a very important project for us is the project with Proslias and Pork, whose representatives are here for the second year in a row. We've been working on the monitoring of uh, tree felling operations. This year, just like previous year, we, we used G Digital Globe Satellite Constellation QuickBird and Worldview 1 and Worldview 2. And uh, more than 90% of all the areas, which you can see here on the slide, have been photographed and acquired, and the, uh, and the images are supplied via this portal, whose uh, screenshot you can see here. And all, another important project for our company was the vegetation assessment project for the city of Moscow. It was jointly done with the uh, main plan of, from Moscow, and uh, we used also the ultra-high resolution uh, imagery from GOI, and you can see the spectral classification project uh, feature, which we used using the images. Also, the map of uh, classification and I'm not going to give you a more detailed overview of this project because soon we are going to publish an article with NIP main plan of Moscow. You'll read it and you'll see integrated maps where the uh, Moscow residents who are here also will be able to see uh, what is the ecological uh, system of what is the eco ecological uh, indicators of their area where they live. And the most important project, not only for our company, for me personally, was the project, joint project with the Minister of Agriculture of the Russian Federation, because this project is what I leave off over the past one year, because this is a very complicated project. And jointly with the ministry, we are building three systems. System number one is called AZSN. It's called Atlas of the Agricultural Lands. Second system is called STMZ. This is distance monitoring of uh, land masses. And a few words about it. both of the systems. Here you can see the objectives of AZSN, Atlas of uh, Agricultural Land Project. And uh, in principle, I think it's high time to thank the ministry for such an initiative, because they decided to do a public map, public atlas, if you will. And it will be in open source, for open for all the citizens of the Russian Federation. And the main objective of this process, of this project, is to establish a uh, territorial distributed geo-informational system, which will help us in online mode to vectorize uh, the agricultural lands. That would include 4 million square kilometers, for those people who know how much uh, agricultural lands we have in Russia. And we'll introduce additional data about acidity of soils right through the, right locally in agro chemical services. In the ministry, they have more than 100 agrochemical services all over Russia, and they can introduce their data into this database. Here you can see the interface. The system has been implemented on RG's RGIS server, server, and we have plans to expand it, this functionality to include six 
ArcGIS services to make it faster. And also in this interface, you can see uh, such inclusion as uh, thematical cards, uh, maps of ROS register. And uh, there is an agreement to jointly use this. And you can look at this atlas and uh, also at the underlying cadaster. And uh, one can uh, make out reports about the region and uh, districts and even specific field in online mode. We have such a legend for the map. You can uh, filter the uh, fields uh, on different components. You can select what you are interested in, special crops, some uh, drained lands, and degraded lands. And uh, for a specific region, you will get uh, your filtered response. You have, you see the total volumes of data uploaded to the agricultural land atlas. It's a huge database which was collected. The data were collected over the past few years from the ministry. Here you can see an example of an automatic generation of statistical reports. All these data are uh, generated online. There are no operators who are preparing these reports. Based on the ultra data, this uh, interface can change, and the data are changing also always all over the Russia and automatically updated. And the second system, STMZ. This system has been developed jointly with the uh, computing center of the Ministry of Agriculture of Russia. And unlike the previous system, the main mission of this system is monitoring of lands using the remote sensing data that we acquire from the satellites of medium and low spatial resolution. Here on this slide, you can see this site of uh, Minister of Agriculture. At the bottom, you can see Agro Cosmos uh, banner. If you click on it, you will be sent to the, uh, the uh, remote sensing and data uh, database. And uh, it is you need password. Uh, you can generate your own password, or I can give you one if you want to look at the system. Here you can see the interface at the top. There are links to uh, for 2011-2012. You can you can look at the uh, winter crops and uh, spring crops, and uh, at each level for each indicator, you can see. Uh, thematical maps for each district or region for the winter crops, which had been calculated uh, based on the satellite imagery. One distinguishing factor for this system is that the customer, as the the main requirement, asked us to make sure that this would be a fully automatic system. They told us we don't need any new software, we're not going to uh, hire an army of operators. The main requirement for us is to have a fully automatic mode for the system so that the images will be prepared. They are uploaded into the system, and then the data from the images are not stored there. As soon as you leave to some other area, the system calculates automatically the indicators only for the features or for the parameters that you have requested. They do it online. In the automatic mode, you can also generate the agricultural passport of the region. Um, the map is inserted into these windows, into these boxes. The passport of the region includes the general information and the data about the development of crops and cultivation areas winter crops and uh, various cartographic information. Also, directly from the database, you can extract the image that you're looking at. You can do a hybrid image of map and the uh, and that image. And uh, we have information not only by, for region, but also for separate fields. That's all I had to tell you today. Thank you. Thank you. Would anybody have questions for our colleague? And thank you, Milana.